the Lake Spirits out in Negrant are a mob I've been looking forward to do since TBC launch. This mob is actually very special to my heart because I crafted Thunder on like the day I hit level 70. And I bought so many primal waters and motes of waters that I literally bought them all out on the auction house. I was forced to farm my own motes of water to be able to craft this bad boy. And I did it in nowhere else other than the Sky Song Lake. Now, I think this place is really interesting for a couple reasons. One, it's right at the top of Nagrand, which we all know is the best zone in TBC. And two, I think this place is pretty overlooked because you have to swim to get to the mobs, right? So a lot of people probably find that as an inconvenience and don't want to do it. But I see that as an opportunity because it's probably going to be empty other than a few questers and stuff. So without further ado, let's reset our kill tracker and begin 500 kills on the Lake Spirits in Negrant. All right. I did bring some secret weapons too to make this a little easier. You're not able to eat underwater, so I brought a ton of heavy netherweed bandages as well as five cheeky elixirs of greater water breathing. So boom, we can now breathe underwater, which I think is gonna help for this farm. Cause I, uh, I don't wanna have to go to the shore every time I wanna heal. And I definitely don't wanna be having to worry about my breath. You know what I mean? So I'd recommend those items for this farm. If you got band-aids, bring them. If you can get water potions, great. If you're a class like a shaman where you can just water walk for some super cheap fish oil, that might help you. But me, I don't care. Uh, I don't care about going for a little dive today. So these guys have some in interesting drops. We can obviously get essences of water, Eternium lock boxes, but we're really here for the motes of water. And if we're lucky, the enchant chest major resilience recipe would be really, really nice. If we could somehow snag that, I'd be thrilled. I could definitely sell it and make a pretty penny enchanting it for people on my server. And yes, your eyes don't deceive you. I did spec fury. I know, I broke down, but it helps with uh, some of these world farms and with two Latros, we'll be able to pump it and maybe actually be able to get a raid spot in Karazhan as DPS, which is pretty sweet. Some Ashugan crystal powder. I don't think we'll be here for too, too long, but with about a one in five chance to drop motes of water, we should, right? If it's 20% and we kill 500, we should see about a hundred motes. But I'll be honest, seven kills in a row, this is, this is sketch. <laughs> Undead obviously have a big advantage here, right? When it comes to water breathing, so that's, if you're an undead, this farm is even better. You don't have to waste your money on a greater water breathing elixir. Yo, where are these motes? I'm getting nervous. Okay. Nine kills, no motes. That's all right. Don't panic. Sometimes, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. At least these guys go down in like five seconds, right? I mean, my gear on this character is actually pretty good at this point, but... There we go. Our first two motes of water. My gear on this character is pretty good, but you should be able to do this farm. You should be able to do this farm around level 63 plus for any class, assuming your gear is decent. It just might take you a little longer. I don't think we're gonna be here for too, too long, especially since we never have to really leave the water to uh, to heal or breathe, right? So that definitely helps. Definitely some questers here, but they shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, being a druid in this farm must be unbelievably convenient. This is like, this has to be like the druid farm. Come on, give me a moat right here, boom. No, but we got a dense war staff. Wow, vendors for two gold, 35 silver though. All right, I'll take it at least. That's like about a moat worth of price right there. There's no real crazy like high level strategy with this either. It's literally just, you know, swim around the lake and you'll see them. And like I was saying, competition wise, I feel like a lot of people overlook this because, you know, swimming is slower than walking and you can't mount and you can't heal or you can't eat, I guess. So I feel like this is a very overlooked spot, which to me just makes it seem like the perfect spot. Nice mode of water. You know what I'm, I just realized too, this is my first 500 kills on like an underwater mob. This is the first one I've done like this on the series. So I want to do more like this for sure, but definitely feels pretty, uh, pretty different than what I'm used to. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. Also looks like there's some nice adamantite deposits scattered around the lake, which I'm sure go overlooked because I mean, how often do people swim around to the bottom of these lakes? <laughs> Probably not too often. All right. 99 kills in. Definitely on the lighter side of moats. I'm actually kind of shocked at how little we've gotten for 100 kills. Uh, I mean, technically speaking, we should be at 20, but it definitely just feels a little light, right? But that could be because yesterday I did the uh, air elementals out in Shadow Moon, so I got a bit spoiled, right? But 
either way, I'm having a good time. It's very, very chill, very fast, very easy. No competition. And it's nice to be under the water, man. I don't know. So, either way, for our 100th... Actually, that was 99. Yeah, it looks like I whirlwinded a toad there. So, for our 100th Lake Spirit Kill, we get an Elemental Shard, which we already have 73 of. That's... That's crazy, but... I know the perfect song for this, so cue the music, and I will talk to you guys when we are at 500 total kills. That is 499 Lake Spirits later. This farm took about three hours, but I was kind of chilling and uh, yelling at my chat who were yelling at me to bring the swim speed belt next time you farm this, which I'll put on screen now. And also, if you're a class that can use a staff, if you're really cheap and you don't want to get the water breathing buff, I forgot to mention you can always go to Nomergon and farm the Hydro Cane. But, with this, you gotta remember to put it on every three minutes, so a one hour water breathing buff is better. But, either way, for this farm, I'd give it like a, like a seven out of 10, right? Positives, you can do it from a medium to low level, right? They're only 64, 65. You're gonna have little to no competition, except people who are coming through to quest. Uh, and it's nice to farm underwater, dude, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a nice change of pace, right? But, the drop rates are not nearly as good as something like uh, the Throne of Kill Jaden or the Air Elementals in Netherwing would be. So, But if you need Essences of Water and you want like a nice, chill, change of pace grind, then I would recommend it. But either way, let's go ahead and pop Recklessness, pop Rampage, and for our 500th Lake Spirit Kill, we get 
an elemental shard. All right, well, we got a lot more than that, that's for sure. I had to mail a lot over. I'll move all the loot, and I will catch you in Stormwind. All right, guys, here we are in Stormwind. Good we got a you. nice hollow loot today, for sure. Actually ended up getting more motes than I thought. The first 100 kills had me a bit worried. But as you can see, we're sitting pretty at 139 motes of water. Yes, I'll turn them into primals this time. Everybody in my chat is freaking out over it. I'll, I'll be sure to turn them into primals this time so you guys can sleep at night. I also ended up getting a lot of greens, way more greens than I thought from these guys. That's a great, that's a great. Way more greens than I thought from these guys. Whenever I get a lot of greens from elementals, I'm, I'm like pleasantly surprised, right? But we got some healing pants, bracers. This ring is actually pretty good. Nice soul drain dagger, a lightning dagger, a restorative mace, and a magician's wand of the will. So, on top of that, we got eight essences of water. Essences of water still still sell okay on my server, but it's nothing nothing like classic where they were like you know twenty gold a pop or whatever. Have a good one. Light and looking at the here. vendorables, right? We got no raw gold off those guys, but when we vendor everything, we get up to fifty nine gold, thirteen silver. Yeah, not bad, but I was actually expecting a little bit more, but I guess they didn't drop that many gray items in the first place. Alright, before we get to the auction house, today I will make primal waters out of my moats. On my server, the price is so similar, it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to give anybody in chat a heart attack. People people seem to get really pissed that I wasn't uh, turning moats into primals, and I hear you guys, so I'll do that for you today, no problem. So let's check out primal waters. 30 gold a pop right now. I'm going to sell them in stacks of one because people don't have that much gold. I'm actually going to do 32 gold each because uh, I've been going very cheap on things like primals and moats. And I want to make sure that I'm maximizing my, my money here, you know? We have nine moats left over. Essence of water. Wow, only 70 silver each. Man, back in classic, I remember when these were going for like 20, 25 gold a pop. Brings me back. Um, all right, and then for the greens... You guys know me lately, we're doing 9 gold for most greens. That, sends, that tends to be a sweet spot for me. If you use TSM, feel free to use that, but I personally like to kind of play with them. Uh, 12 for those, because they're nice. This is actually a really good ring for Feral Druids. I'll do 19.99. Magician's Wand, do 6 gold, because Spirit. Lightning Dagger of Spirit, 9 gold, because Spirit. Soul Drain Dagger, I'm going to do 15 gold. And then the restorative mace of the owl. I'll be 13 gold. All right, no lock boxes today, which I something just feels weird when I end these videos without lock boxes. I'll be honest with you guys, but I like this farm. I really did. I think this farm, it's not the best gold per hour as far as moats go, but it is very convenient because you're not going to have a lot of competition except from you know an occasional leveler just passing through every now and then. Most people, most people are not going to want to inconvenience themselves with swimming. So if you grab an elixir of water breathing and don't mind swimming around for a little bit, I think this spot is fantastic and underrated. So that's going to do it for me, though, guys. I'm going to leave my Twitch up on screen now, doing all these farms live over on Twitch. We're, it's super fun over there. We shoot the shit. We meme around. It's a good time. And uh, I'd love if you dropped on and by and hung out for a little bit. So Twitch link in the description. But that's going to do it for me, guys. I can tell I'm going to start to ramble. So thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your farms. If you have any ideas for mobs at all, let me know in the comments below. I don't care how crazy or weird or stupid or whatever you feel. If you want to see them, leave them in the comments and I'll try to check them out. So that's going to do it for me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Barack Age, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.